people all right? I, you know what? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come to you. I'm gonna come to you. Marshawn Lynch has always been a mystery. Can you describe the 79 yard touchdown run? Thanks, Fax. A sphinx with reporters who let his play do the talking. Chase from behind, knocked, still on his feet. Holy catfish, what a run! Whether that was beast mode in Seattle or as a bear at Cal Berkeley. He's the five, that's it, and he's in. A riddle wrapped in an enigma that moved like the Tasmanian devil. I've always wondered, who is he really? And what exactly is Ghost Riding the Whip? That brought me to Marshawn's high school alma mater, Oakland Tech, to meet the Ghost Rider himself. Let's just talk about my entrance here. Ghost Riding the <laughs> Whip. Tell me how you got the idea to get into a golf cart and ride around after your game against Washington. Marshawn Lynch is driving the cart across the field. Spur of the moment. Now all the end zone dances are scripted. <laughs> Had you thought nah, about it before? I'm, I'm, really not a, I'm really not a scripted kind of dude. Over time, I had a touchdown that put us up. Marshawn Lynch goes 22 yards for the touchdown. So, you know, they offense get a chance to score. And then uh, Desmond got a pick. He wore a number 10, too. Rose intercepted, that's it. Ball game over. Y'all had two number 10s. We had two number 10s. And he ran it back maybe like 60, 70 yards. California has won the football game. And I'm like, I'm tired myself. And, and then that cart was just sitting right there. Just calling your name? Like, Ghost Ride the Whip. I ran, jumped on the cart, so I'm sliding that thing, right? And then people start rushing the field. I'm like, Man, this cow, people don't rush the field here, but all these people just running through, so I'm sliding through that thing. <laughs> Suits left, Suits right, come back, bring that thing back, sliding it, and then it was over after that. <laughs> that is absolutely hysterical, and that's the final drive of the game. What was in your yearbook, like your school superlative, least likely to be tackled? <laughs> no, most likely to cause an earthquake. <laughs> that's what my Even better, the place where you had your first Skittle. Right? Power, power pellets. Power pellets. Power pellets. Not bad. Ever since high school, Marshawn Lynch's mom always gave him a pack of Skittles that he eats during the game after touchdowns. Well, there you go. <laughs> Skittles time. You're never too old for Skittles. My uncle told me, man, you disrespectful if you call them Skittles. Say they power pellets. <laughs> so the, the Skittles, I mean, your mom gave you Skittles early on and said, you know, they'll make you fast. It wasn't Skittles at first. It was any type of candy. My stomach used to get upset. And then if I ate some candy, it'll settle my stomach. So it was either I eat some candy or I'd be on the sideline throwing up. Why it could you not have had candy before Super Bowl 48? I would like your stomach <laughs> to have been upset then. Like all earthquakes, Marshawn's seismic run was a perfect convergence of time and pressure. With just under four minutes to go in a 2010 wildcard playoff, the Seahawks clung to a four-point lead over the heavily favored New Orleans Saints. That run couldn't have came out a better time. We was a 7-9 team in the playoff playing against the defending Super Bowl champions. Yeah, because if they get the ball back, Breeze has a chance to go down. That was just night-night, right? Just don't, don't give them the ball back. Coaches come and say, hey, we're going to run power. We need one first down, and it's good. Just whatever you do, just, just go down. Turn and handle into left side. Finds a little bit of a hole, keeps his legs moving. He's across the 40, midfield, 45, he's on the run, Lynch. 40, pushes the man, 35, look at him go. He's down to 20, 15, he could go, he is gonna go. Touchdown, Seahawks. Oh my word, a 67-yard run. Marshawn Lynch, unbelievable. They call power to the left. You stayed kind of front side. Kept it front side. One or two guys right in the hole, right? Wasn't a lot there. No, nah, it wasn't. But ain't no disrespect to them. It just seemed like you <laughs> should have tackled me. <laughs> I was, you feel me? I was just like, maybe they was, maybe they was tired. I mean, you know, I played geometry in it. Was their angles not right when they started hitting me or? You know what it was. It, it explain them. <laughs> My kids are doing a little geometry now. I mean, <laughs> how can I tell them that applies to a to a running back on well, a running I mean, play? It's just the angles. You know what I mean? So and you're running, you can feel which way the guy's coming from, and you kind of know where to go. Well, I mean, there. I mean, you know, I don't know if you got that feeling, but 
It's like when somebody getting closer to you, it feels like. I just go down. I go down. Now. No. He runs, get down, Peyton. He does a feet first sort of slide. It feel like I get to breathe in less air. So if somebody is coming from, you know what I mean, from this direction and I can't see them, then I don't know how or why, but I'll feel less oxygen coming and it'll turn my spider sense, whatever it is that you do, and not like, oh, there's somebody right here. That's as good an effort as I've ever seen in my life from a running back. Maybe they didn't have their head at that 45 degree angle, crossing body when they tackling that was behind. You can't generate no power like that. So their geometry was off while they was trying to come see your boy about something. And if you don't come with your right night night, you're gonna get late. <laughs> Seattle's always been one of the louder places to play. Fact. But did you did you know it that was, it was causing a potential earthquake? It was not. Throughout the play and through all of that, all I could hear was <laughs> <laughs> and the end of when I bounced back and grabbed my nuts. And then it was like, <sighs> I mean, for, for that kind of run, was absolutely. Nice go, Here go, baby. On January 8th, 2011, at 4.42 p.m., a seismograph just like this one started buzzing at the University of Washington. Come on over here, take a look at this. Let me show you. Oh, stop. You feel that? Right? What are you doing? You know what you do to these things, <laughs> right? That run <laughs> triggered so much excitement, okay? It registered as a 2.0 on the Richter scale. Any higher, we'd have to call in the rock, all right? Take a look now. Here is the actual reading from the beast quake, all right? Ball's hiked here. Lynch breaks through the line. Lynch breaks another tackle. Lynch shoves cornerback, knocking him five yards downfield. And this is this is when the, the crowd's doing their thing. Yeah. Lynch crosses the goal line. So that's the nut grab. Right there. Yeah, that's it. It should say right there. It should say nut grab. Extra point is kicked by Olinda Maury. It kind of comes down on the extra point, right? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. It's really. kind of a downer. Right. Yeah. <laughs>